In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a bowling YouTube channel that can generate as much as $2,000 or more per month. So make sure you watch this entire video to learn how to make money with your bowling YouTube channel. Hello, this is startthechannel.com where we show you step by step how to start successful YouTube channels. So here's what we are going to cover today. We are going to pick a niche and then niche down with a few examples. Then we're going to talk about the equipment that you need to get up and running and why you should think about brand colors and your brand. After that, I'm going to show you how to create channel art, which includes your thumbnail, your logos and your banner. And we're going to do keyword research so that you can start getting traffic. Now, keyword research is going to be vitally important for your niche and so that you can get viewers. So make sure you pay attention to that one. After that, I'm going to talk to you about creating videos and creating thumbnails for those videos, your upload schedule and the right way to share on social media. A lot of new YouTubers get this wrong and that can stagnate your growth. Next, we are going to talk about all of the ways that you can make money and why you should consider getting a website when you first get started. So let's take a look at a few examples of successful YouTube channels that are in the bowling space. So if we go over here, this one up here, if we keep going inside bowling, they're doing bowling tutorials. And what I want to illustrate to you is that different types of bowling videos can work. And so that's something that you're going to want to think about when you're creating videos. So this one inside bowling are tutorials and tips. This one here again is another example of tips. These guys are professional bowling and they offer professional bowling videos. As you can see, they have almost a hundred thousand subscribers, probably a hundred thousand when you see this and they actually mix in a little vlog style content as well. In this example, Darren Tang actually talks about his experience. This is more of a vlog style content as a professional bowler. He talks about some of the things that he runs into and he talks about, you know, just kind of going around the country bowling at different places. But as you can see, these are different types of bowling videos. So one thing that you want to determine, and this is getting into picking a niche and niching down, is determine what type of videos are you going to create? Are you going to create videos where you are on tour and I need to pause this? Uh, are you going to create videos where you're teaching people how to bowl? Are you going to teach them how to hook, how to pick up a spare, some of those types of things? Or are you going to make vlog style content? Now vlog style content can be kind of challenging when you first get started, unless you already have a following. If you have a following, that's not going to be an issue. But if you are just getting started and you want to teach people how to bowl the right way, um, you probably want to go over to and model your channel like Inside Bowling or this other one here, um, Brad and Kyle. Another thing that you want to think about is who is your target audience? Are you going to target adults or are you going to target kids that are just getting into bowling? And just to illustrate this, we could say how to start bowling. And if we hit the space bar, you can see there is... A number of options for beginners we'll say for kids and even talking about spin and things of that nature so you want to make sure that you're thinking about that when you get up and running so that is what we talk about and about picking a niche and niching down the next thing that you want to look at is the necessary equipment when you get up and running you want to determine if you are going to be on camera or if you're not going to be on camera if you are going to be at a, a the bowling lanes where are you going to create your content? At the very least, you need a decent microphone and you need a decent camera. And if you click the second link in the description, I have a complete list of everything that you need. In addition to microphone and camera, you probably also want video editing software. With video editing software, that allows you to compile multiple clips, put them in one place and create or generate one giant video. If you are just getting started and you have no money to invest, you can actually start with something like openshot.org. This is a free video editing software. There are premium ones out there that have additional features. If you do have some money to invest, you probably want to get video premium video editing software. That's going to help you out. If you have absolutely no money to invest, you can start with recording on your smartphone. If you have an iPhone, you can record right from there and then use something like openshot.org to help compile your videos. If you have a Mac or an Apple computer, you can use iMovie and you can use QuickTime to create your videos that way for free. Otherwise, if you want to invest, I do have in that second link, a list of different uh, video editing software. So again, you want a decent microphone, a decent camera, and then video editing software. Also, you might want to consider something called B-roll. Now, B-roll is video that you're going to overlay on the top of your regular uh, video. And you can use you can use a website like Pexels. They offer free B-roll. So we could go up here and we could type in bowling just like that. And then you want to put this over the top of your standard video. And the reason why you want to do something like this is to help break up the monotony of a video. I'll talk a little bit more about how to create videos later on in this film, in this video. But 
uh, you want to think about doing something like Pexels. Another website you can use is called Storyblocks. This is a premium service. So if we paste bowling in once again, premium service, they have additional features. They also offer 4K resolution. They offer more frame rates and they actually have video editing integrated right into their software. So again, the second link in the description is going to have a complete list of everything that you need or want to consider getting for your new YouTube channel. If we go back over to our slide deck, the next thing that you want to do is determine your colors. Now, if you are looking to make money on YouTube, you want to build a brand. And if you're building a brand, you want to have consistent colors. As you can see here inside bowling, they have kind of like a, a gradient here from orange all the way to black. Uh, if we look at this channel here, uh, lost it here. If we look at, at Darren Tang, he actually doesn't have any, any brand colors. And I'd recommend if I were to speak to him, if you're looking to build a following and make more money and build a community, you want to have brand colors and you want to build on that brand. The best example for building a brand is something like McDonald's. Whenever you think about McDonald's, you know their colors because that's their brand. I recommend that you consider a brand. Now, if you have no idea about colors and color schemes, you can use something called the Canva color palette, and they've actually put together a bunch of color schemes for you. That's going to help you out. So what you can do here is you can find one that you like, you're going to click on it, and then it's going to give you examples of the color scheme. If you like it, you simply copy the either the name or the hex code, and then you can move on to the next step. And simply the next step is to get your channel art. Now, when I talk about channel art, you're thinking about your thumbnail, your logo, as well as the banner that appears at the top of your YouTube channel. So this is the, the banner here. And there's two ways to do it. You can either do it yourself or you can hire someone to do it. If you're going to do it yourself, you can check out the fourth link in the description. I'll have links to all of this stuff. But if you're going to do it yourself, you can go over to Canva and you can type in YouTube channel art just like that. And they're going to have both free and paid templates for you to use. So you can click on any one of these. Some are free. Uh, this one I believe is paid. But you can actually click on one and make the necessary changes with the colors that you found in the previous step. And then you can download it and then upload it into your YouTube channel. If you don't want to do it, if you don't have an eye for design, or if you just don't have time, you can hire someone over on Fiverr to do it for as little as $5. So again, if we type in channel art just like this. We spell it correctly, just like this. And you're going to see there are people that are willing to put together high quality channel art for as little as $5. And the way this is set up is you create an order, you give them the colors that you found in this step, and then you give them any images you want to include and text as well, and then tell them to make it pretty. And they will go ahead and take care of that for you. So again, you can find someone for as little as $5 for your YouTube channel art. If we go back over to our slide deck, the next thing that you want to do is you want to do keyword research. Now, I alluded to this earlier that keyword research is going to be important for your new channel. Now, in the beginning, a lot of new YouTubers struggle simply because they create content based on what they want their audience to know instead of the questions that the audience is actually asking. When you're just getting started, you want to figure out what your audience wants to know so that you can create that content. Once you start building a following, you can create content on whatever you want. But what I recommend that you do in the very beginning, go out and figure out what your customer is asking. And to do that, there's two ways. There's a hard way and there's an easy way. The hard way is to go up to your search bar and you can type in like I did earlier, how to start bowling. And if I hit the space bar here, you can see there are a lot of additional options. You could even start a bowling business. You can start how to start bowling for beginners. And this is the difficult way because there are a lot of, um, you don't know exactly what to create as a new YouTuber. What I recommend that you do is you're going to need to niche down to build an audience. And there's really no way to determine how far to niche down do doing this method. A better way is if you click the fourth link in the description, you're going to get access to a free Chrome extension that you can install right in your computer. When you get that free Chrome extension, you can click on the button here, go to keyword explorer. And then you can type in something like how to start bowling or how to learn bowling. So if we do how to start bowling, it's going to give us a score, uh, like a chance or an opportunity to rank. This actually is really good for a new channel, 82 out of 100. What you can do is you can also look over here on the side and see if there are a better keywords. So if we, if we did something like how to, let's see, learn how to bowl, we'll do learn how to bowl just like that. And as you can see, how to learn how to bowl, we're going to hit enter. And again, this score is zero to 100. The closer you get to 100, the better. 
this is also is very good, but you want to strive for something like a hundred. We could go over here, how to bowl like a pro, how to how learn how to bowl two handed. Uh, so let's click on learn how to bowl, learn, learn how to learn off, learn how to learn off spin bowling. Uh, let's do learn how to bowl two handed and see if that score goes up. Again, you want to try and get the video, this is the keyword or keyword phrase, as close to 100 as possible. So you'd want to create this type of video to improve your chances of ranking. And basically, that's how you do keyword research. Again, the fourth link in the description is going to help you out with that. We go back over to our slide deck here. The next step is simply to create videos. Now, people come to YouTube because they either want to be entertained or they want to be educated. And as we saw here with learn how to bowl or how to start bowling, they want to be educated. And if you can teach them something and then add in a little bit of entertainment as well, you can get millions of subscribers and, and millions of views. And so you want to try and teach them something and be a little bit entertaining. And one way to be entertaining is to change what your audience is looking at every seven to 15 seconds. That's where this pexels comes in. What you can do is you can add B roll over the top of your standard footage, and that's going to help break up the monotony. If you aren't changing what your, your camera, or if you aren't changing what your audience is looking at every seven to 15 seconds, they're going to get bored and they're going to start looking at other videos. If you can increase the watch time and the view duration, that's going to allow YouTube, that's going to tell YouTube that this is a good video and they're actually going to push your video out to more people. So I recommend you start by adding B roll, change the camera angle. If you have two cameras, that's going to work out as well. But I recommend that you change camera angle, change positioning, change what they're looking at every seven to 15 seconds. Another thing that you can do too, is you can actually add in random sounds. You can add in a sound every seven to 15 seconds. People are going to go back to looking at their phone or their computer and they're going to say, what was that? And that's going to bring them back. So you want to make sure that you are changing your camera every seven to 15 seconds. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take all your video footage and you're going to compile it, put it together in a video editing software like openshot.org. I'm using ScreenFlow right now. Uh, that's my preferred video editing software because I have a Mac, but you can use the, the ones that I reference in the description of this video. If we go back over here, the next thing that you want to do is you want to create thumbnails. Now, when you're creating your thumbnails, I recommend that you model your thumbnails after what's already working. If we type in how to start bowling, you want to take a look at the thumbnails that are already ranking. The reason being is simply because they already work. You don't want to try and recreate the wheel if you're just getting started and you don't have any subscribers or followers. People aren't going to be clicking on those links. So if we, when we typed in how to start bowling, you can see that the ones that are working are images of people bowling. This one actually has people bowling in, in different, um, different stages of, of, of bowling. But this is what you want to do. You don't want to recreate the wheel. Once you get 10,000 subscribers, 20,000 subscribers, that's when you can recreate the wheel. But right now, I recommend that you model what's already working. And to do that, you can either do it for free with a website like Canva. So we can go up to YouTube and type in uh, YouTube thumbnail, just like this. And you'll see that they have both free and premium thumbnail templates that you can download. You just go click one, uh, you click on one that you like, make the necessary changes, and then you can go from there. If you don't want to create your own thumbnails, you can hire someone to do it over on Fiverr once again. And you can just type in YouTube thumbnail just like this. Click on that. And then you can find someone for as little as $5 to create your thumbnails. And then away you go. Make sure you give them direction again. Tell them about your brand colors. Tell them what you're looking for. And even show them examples of ones that you want to model. But it's important in the very beginning, you want to model success. We go back over to our slide deck. The next thing that you want to do is you want to upload on a schedule. Now, this is going to be vitally important to your success on YouTube. The reason why most people struggle with YouTube is simply because they don't upload consistently enough. Most people will upload once every three weeks or three months and then wonder why YouTube is not recommending their content. You want to upload consistently so that YouTube has enough videos to recommend. You want to upload consistently because you just never know which video is going to take off. And simply, you want to have a bunch of videos on your channel to give people to binge or watch. Now, what I recommend that you do is upload three videos per week to start. If we're looking at this, this channel, Inside Bowling, they're uploading about three times, four times, five times. This is a live stream here. So they're uploading about three times per week. And I recommend that you do the same simply because you want to help yourself out. 
In my opinion, the best way to ensure that you're uploading consistently at least three times per week is to batch out your content. And basically what that means is when you go to the bowling lanes, do three, four, five videos while you're there, and that'll actually make it easier for you to batch your content. Go there with a plan. So you're gonna create three videos, one video in, on each of these keywords, and then you can schedule those to be uploaded. For example, I'm going to create five videos today on different keywords so that I don't have to create content every single day. Uh, this will actually help you out in the long run. So I recommend in the very beginning, you wanna make sure that you are batching your content. Now, if we go back over to our slide deck here, the next thing that you wanna do is share your content on social media. There's a right way and a wrong way to share your content on social media. The wrong way to share your content is to go over to your personal Facebook page and just share your content there. Um, that's not going to work simply because most of your friends and family won't care about your YouTube channel, at least not in the very beginning. When you when you get 100,000 subscribers, your friends and family will say they were there all along, but in the beginning, they won't care. What I recommend that you do instead is find relevant Facebook groups. So I just typed in bowling just like that, and I went down to groups. When you go down to groups, you see there's 5,000 members, 4,000 members, 8,000, 24,000 members for use bowling, that might not be great, but you can see there are thousands of people, 32,000 USBC bowlers discussion forum. There are thousands of people, if not millions of people that are interested in bowling in these groups. And so what you should do is join these groups and participate in the conversation. Don't just go out and spam your, your YouTube link. Go out there, be a subject matter expert, be helpful. And then when it comes time to post your YouTube link, people are going to be more receptive and you're going to get a lot more viewers, subscribers, and build a dedicated following. So this is the right way to do it. As you can see, there are thousands of people that are simply interested in bowling and they would be willing to follow you if you help them out first. If we go back over to our slide deck. The next thing that we want to talk about are all of the different ways to make money. There are a number of ways to make money. The most common way is with the YouTube Partner Program. With the YouTube Partner Program, you need 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers to qualify. And just because you qualify doesn't mean that you're going to be accepted. In my opinion, the YouTube Partner Program is the least profitable way to make money. There are tons of other ways to make money. And one of my favorite is with affiliate marketing. And with affiliate marketing, you are simply recommending or selling other people's products and services. And the way that it works is you are going to find affiliate programs that are congruent with your target audience and you are going to get, you're going to apply to those affiliate programs. And then once you are accepted, you can post your affiliate links in the description of your videos. And what you want to do, and this is key, you want to make sure that you are finding affiliate programs that are congruent or in line with your target audience. These people are interested in bowling. So you want to find affiliate programs that offer bowling balls, bowling accessories, bowling bags, bowling shoes, anything. Maybe even there are affiliate programs out there for different bowling lanes. Those are the types of things that you want to promote. You don't want to promote something like basketball because these people don't care about basketball. They care about bowling. And so you want to do that too. Another way that you can make money is with email marketing. Now with email marketing, you can make money a few different ways. One, you can send out an email anytime you upload a brand new video. That's going to help you make money with the YouTube Partner Program. That'll help you make money with affiliate marketing if you have affiliate links in the description. You can also send emails anytime there's a new product out. Maybe send out an email if there is a new high-tech bowling shoe that's released and you want your subscribers to learn about it, you can make money if you are doing affiliate marketing. Another way that you can make money is selling your own physical and digital products. I love selling my own physical and digital products because it's a great way to make additional revenue. And the cool thing with selling digital products is you create the product once, and then you can sell it again and again and again. What you could do, or what Inside Bowling could do, is they could have an exclusive training where they show people, they take people from beginner to advanced in bowling, they sell it, it's an online course that teaches people step by step, or maybe they have an ebook or a guide or something like that. They could sell it for as little as $5, and what I wanna do is I just wanna show you the math. If they sold just on their last video, which was uploaded just yesterday, they sold that $5 training, on just this one video, how much money they could potentially make. So if we take, they have 9,800 people on their last video that was uploaded just a day ago. Let's assume only 1% buy, that's 98 people, right? So we take 98 and we multiply that by five 
they made $490 just with this one video. And if you think 490 is not that big of a deal, if we multiply that by 365, you're looking at over $170,000 per year on a $5 course. And you know, we can multiply that by however many because they have a bunch of videos already up. So you can see the power of selling your own digital products and you can price it for $5 or $50, whatever you wanna do. If we go back over to our slide deck, the final thing that I wanna cover is why you should get a website. In my opinion, having a website is just as important as having a YouTube channel, simply because if YouTube were to disappear tomorrow, or if your channel were to disappear tomorrow, you would have no recourse, you wouldn't have a revenue stream, you would potentially be starting over from scratch. However, if you have a website, which can't be taken away from you, you still have an, a revenue stream. Your, your website can make money. Building a website and building a blog on your website can help you build a deeper connection. As I mentioned, it's an additional revenue stream, additional way that you can make money. So I think that you should consider, strongly consider getting a website. If you are interested, the link, the sixth link in the description talks a little bit more about it. Now be sure to check out all of the links in the description. The first one is for that free YouTube checklist. It is a step-by-step -step guide how to get running step-by-step. -step. The next one, the second link in the description is a list of the necessary equipment and my recommendations. The third link is the channel art. The fourth link is the keyword research Chrome extension that I mentioned. The fifth link are all of the different ways to make money. There's more than five, believe it or not. And then the sixth link is for getting a website. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell. If this video or any other video on this channel helps you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.